Roxon Nelson Dafiamekpo, MP for South Dai, demanded a parliamentary scrutiny of five ministers of state recently reassigned by President Ekufuado. Mr. Speaker, the President issued a letter publicly indicating the number of ministers that he has, whose appointments he has revoked with immediate effect. Mr. Speaker, the, the meaning can only be that those number of ministers and the names of the ministers whose names appear on that release, they be immediately relieved of their post. But Mr. Speaker, a very strange happening. The, 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 the communication proceeded further to say that some five ministers whose names appeared among those who have been relieved of their post immediately have rather been reassigned. Mr. Speaker, by operation of law, when the president says that he has revoked your appointment, you are no longer a minister of state. You are no longer a minister of state. And so there's no way the president can say that he is reassigning those persons. So I am saying on the authority of the constitution that those persons appointed have been revoked by the president. But the, pre but the constitution mandates him to reappoint them. But that reappointment must be subject to the parliamentary scrutiny of this house. So we are demanding that those five ministers that he supposedly has reassigned, they must be subjected to parliamentary vetting. That is the procedure. And Mr. Speaker, let me add, Mr. Speaker, let me add that if this call is not heeded, Mr. Speaker, we will proceed, we'll proceed to the Supreme Court for interpretation. It's always a delight to listen to him. But I think on this occasion, something eluded uh, him, and I want to point that out. Mr. Speaker, the, the basic rule of interpretation is that we look at the document as a whole. We don't have to disjointly read. When we disjointly read the document, we are likely to mislead those who are to listen to us. The president used one communication to communicate his intent and his decision. The words he used were relief, that he has relieved them of their portfolio. Roxon, you would have to keep quiet and listen. That he has relieved them of their portfolio in government. And in the same communication, the next paragraph, he again conveyed to us that these people have been reassigned. Anyway, you are free to go to the Supreme Court. 